Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In last video we learned what is incremental load, why we need it, what are the steps of incremental load, what are the advantages of incremental load and what are the types of incremental load. We also learn insert only incremental load through an example. In today's video we will learn insert and update incremental load with a good example. So the first question is what is the difference between insert only and insert and update incremental load. Insert and update incremental load will be used when previously loaded records may be modified between your two script executions. To implement this insert and update incremental load, we need two fields. One is the field which can recognize which records are new. We have used in last video updated date and time or modified date and time. So we are going to use the same field and a primary key which will be used to sort out updated records from the QVD file. So the process is same here. We have a database which could be Oracle, SQL, Teradata or any other database. Our objective is to create final data QVD which will be for the use for the application layer. Say we have 50 million records as of 31st of May 2022 and the QVD final data QVD is not exists. When we will do the load, we will use the click application and the click application will connect to the database through a database connection and without using any filter because it's a first load and we are going to do the full load. So we will get 50 million records and this 50 million records will be saved as a final data QVD and we will also save another QVD which will be having updated date and time. So at the end of the first load, which is a full load, we have 50 million records. Say on the same day, around up to 8 p.m., we have 5000 records added and 10 old records get updated. So this time, click will use the filter maximum updated date and time from the previously stored QED and through the data extraction, we will get 5010 records. Here 5000 are the new records and 10 records are those which are updated or modified. It could be anything quantity updated or price updated or something. So at the end of this stage, we will get 5010 records which will be merged with final data QVD using the where not exits primary key. We will see this by example and why we need this where not exits. Now we will save the updated date and time and at the end of second load which is a insert and update incremental load we, we will have 50 million and 5000 records for the third time say we have 7500 records added up to 1st of june 10 am and 20 records updated again click application will do extraction using the where filter and we will get 7520 records which will be merge with the final QED using the where not exits primary key. We will save the updated date and time and at the end of the third load, we have 7500 new records and 20 updated records. But at the end of this stage, we will have 50 million 12,500 records. How this will work and why we need this insert and update, I will show you by an example. First of all, I will show you database table. So we have total 61.9 million records and the max ID is this and the maximum updated date and time is 31st of May 2022 almost midnight. So here you can see that we have ID, order ID, line number, order date, updated date and time, quantity, sales cost and customer and all other information. So updated date and time we will use to recognize which are the new records or which are the modified records and ID field which is a primary key here we will use this key for stopping duplication of records we will use the same two applications the first one is for the incremental load and the second application is incremental load test which will give us information about QVD and also our final sales order table if you haven't gone through with the video of incremental load insert only, I strongly recommend you to go through that video first because I'm going to use the same script here. There will be only minor changes which we have to implement. So when we will do the first load, it will be the full load. 
I will either fast forward this video or will pause the video and we will come back when we will have the full load. So you can see it took around 9 minutes to create the final data QVD as well as maximum updated date and time QVD. We will see the folder now. So we have two QVDs created here. Now these two QVDs we will load into the second application to compare the data. So we can see from the front end that we have 61999044 records and because the primary key is ID, total ID should equal to your total number of records. And we also have updated date and time 31st of May 2022, 23, 59, 53. So this we will try to match with our database. So the number of lines exactly matching and we also have updated date and time same as our QVD. So we can match it here. Now you can see here that we have data up to 31st of May 2022. What I will do now, I will add data of 1st of June 2022. I will also modify few old records. So the last few orders, so say from, from this line, this line to this line, this nine records, I will update the quantity from 1, 2 or 3 pieces to 10 pieces. So I have updated few records and I will run this query and you can see now we have quantity instead of 1, 2 or 3 we have quantity of 10 pieces here and according to that one we have sales and cost value. Now I will add records of 1st of June 2022. I will add 1st of June 2022 records using SSIS. So we can see that we have 16,267 records added in our database table. And at the same time we have few records, 9 records updated. So now if I will do the row count, we have now 62 million records and maximum updated date and time is 1st of June 2022. But we have stored 31st of May 2022, 23.59 something as our maximum updated date and time. So now I will perform the incremental load and I will show you what are the issues we are getting when we will not perform the incremental load in certain update. Before moving ahead, I have stored the information. So it took around 9 minutes and 5 seconds to do the full load. And now we will perform the incremental load. So here I will perform the incremental load. I will run the script again. And because we already have this sales order QVD, we already have this QVD, it will directly go to these sections. So, how many new records will get extracted? So, the incremental load is finished now. This incremental load is actually insert only because we haven't changed anything yet. This is the same script we have used in our previous video. So, how many total new rows get extracted? 16,276. I will write down in Excel file 16,276. And if we see this records, we have 16,267, 16,267 new records and we have 9 records updated. So I will write down here updated date and time 1st of June and if we sort by ascending order. So the difference is here, these are the total records and these are the new records. So these are the difference, these records are the modified records. So this modified records means the modified records are coming from this. If I will run this query and we will get the output something like this. So when I run the query 
and I try to get the records which are having updated date and time greater than equal to start of June then I will get something like this and here you can see these nine records these are the records actually having old order date but they are modified means the quantity we have modified here so these nine records are coming here so we should get total records this plus this new records but instead of that we are getting this many records that means we are getting nine records more these are the modified records so what exactly happening here let's load these QVDs into the second application so this application is getting loaded meantime I will try to copy the IDs which we have modified so these are the all ID which we have modified So I will copy them and then I will paste them here and now from 38 to 49 so I will select this first ID and I will filter from that ID and we will see how many records we are getting here so we are getting two records the first record is coming from the QVD while the second record is coming from the database so what exactly happening here if I will explain you from this excel file then when we have this QVD which was previously stored this QVD has got information of all this ID which we have modified later on and when we do the extraction we get new records plus modified records because this modify records have updated date and time you can see this updated date and time so instead of getting only 16,267 records we are getting 16,276 so these 9 records coming again here and these 9 records are also having these records that means all these lines will get duplicated all this line coming from database as a new extraction due to new updated date and time and these nine records or these nine lines also coming from QVD which were previously stored so we need to get only one line of these records so which line we need to get so if you see here let me write let me get one more ID here so if you see here which line we need we need the line which is having updated date and time higher so in this case we need 1st of June 2022 so this 1st of June 2022 if we see here this so it will come from this but we are getting the same primary key information from this previously stored QVD so we need to eliminate those records from previously stored QVD to do that we will use here where not exists and our primary keys ID so when we will use this wherever we are merging this QVDs previously stored QVD we can eliminate those records and this way we will avoid this records to get duplicated so what i will do i already stored the qvd which we had before the first incremental load i mean when we do the full load up to 31st of may 2022 i stored that qvd so what i will do now if you see here the maximum updated date and time is 1st of June so what I will do I will delete those QVDs and I will replace them with the previously stored QVD which we have created when we did full load so if you see here we have 31st of May 2022 and this record is up to 31st of May 
2022. So now I will perform the incremental load. The only change we did here is when not exists ID. So that means when we will get the updated records through incremental load and we will try to merge the incremental load records with the previously stored QVD. Whatever ID we have extracted using the incremental load will be automatically removed from the previously stored QVD. Let's see. So you can see that it took around 2 minutes 45 seconds. This time we are getting 16,276 new records but the total row count is 62,015,311. So I will store all this information in Excel file so that we can compare. So these are the new records and we should have this many primary key and, and the total time taken is 2 minutes and 45 seconds and we will try to compare this information with our database so I am loading this query here and at the same time I will load the second application one thing you might have noticed that this where not exists ID will still make our load means our QVD load optimized load because when you do QVD load you can still use alias means rename of the field and you can use where exists or where not exists this two will still allow you to do the optimized load. So this script is loaded now and at the front end we can see that we have 62,015,311 records. So if we try to compare this one with our database we have exactly the same number of rows and the maximum updated date and time is 1st of June 2022 23,59,53 which is same here. Let's recap here. Insert and update incremental load will be used when you have database where the records means the old records get updated or get modified along with the addition of new records. The only things we need to change here is we have to use this when not exists ID where ID is the primary key. Apart from that everything is same in the script. I strongly recommend you to watch my previous video of insert only incremental load if you are not aware about how to write this script. And I have also shown you what are the steps to consider. So in this incremental load we have to use where not exists primary key. And the same we have to use here. Even though the load of QVD is still optimized it will be little slower than the insert only incremental load but still much faster compared to the full load. I will create next video on insert update and delete incremental load. Till then thanks and have a great day.